On the verdant world of Gaia, the heart that pulsed with life wasn't a fiery core, but a sprawling wilderness known as the Emerald Cradle. This ancient forest wasn't just a collection of trees, it was a living entity, its roots twisting like veins beneath the soil, its leaves shimmering like emerald scales in the perpetual twilight. The cradle thrummed with a low, rhythmic hum, a life force that permeated every aspect of Gaia. The Gaian people weren't separate from the forest, but rather an extension of it. Their cities, crafted from living wood and bioluminescent fungi, blended seamlessly with the towering redwoods and crystalline creepers. They didn't need complex machines for power, the cradle itself provided clean energy, channeled through glowing orbs nestled amongst the flora. The air shimmered with a vitality unknown on other planets, a testament to the constant exchange between the forest and its inhabitants. But the cradle wasn't all peace. Deep within its heart pulsed a chamber of molten gold, a reflection of Gaia's core. This molten heart was the cradle's furnace, superheating geothermal vents that spewed steam and birthed fantastical creatures. Razor-winged flyers dipped between the trees, their scales shimmering with heat, while lumbering, moss-covered behemoths grazed on bioluminescent flora that pulsed with the cradle's energy. One day, a vessel from a distant, dying world crash-landed on the fringes of the cradle. The Gaeans, ever curious and peaceful, welcomed the refugees. But these visitors, accustomed to a world ravaged by industry, looked at the cradle with greed. They saw resources to exploit, not a living being. They started small, discreetly siphoning the cradle's energy for their failing technology. The forest, however, was no passive observer. As the exploitation grew, the once vibrant hum of the cradle faltered. The bioluminescent flora dimmed, the air grew heavy, and the Gaian people felt a disquieting weakness. The elders, those most in tune with the forest, realized the danger. They, along with a growing number of the refugees who had come to appreciate the cradle's delicate balance, pleaded with the newcomers to stop. But greed, as it often does, blinded the exploiters. They pushed further, and the cradle reacted. The ground trembled, vines lashed out, and the creatures of the molten heart emerged, driven by the forest's distress. The invaders, overwhelmed by the unexpected fury of a world they had only seen as a resource, were forced to flee. In the aftermath, the Gaeans and the repentant refugees nursed the wounded forest back to health. They learned a valuable lesson, the cradle wasn't just their home, it was the lifeblood of their world. They vowed to become the cradle's stewards, ensuring its health for generations to come. Gaia, a world where a forest wasn't merely scenery, but the very essence of life, continued to thrive under the emerald embrace of its beating heart.